Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another one of our document conversion connector actions. This action will allow us to customize the DPI or dots per inch of an image, which means directly controlling the resolution of that image. It's a great operation to use before printing images or putting them online, and it's sometimes just necessary to ensure an image is compatible with a certain application. Additionally, this operation passively allows us to influence the size of an image file, which can make such files easier to share across a network. To demonstrate, I'm creating an instant cloud flow and electing to trigger it manually. This will make it easy to test, and you can obviously follow similar logic to create an automated flow targeting a specific folder as well. Once we reach the flow diagram page, let's set up a quick manual trigger for our file input. This will make it so that we can add our file at the end of the process rather than at the beginning. Next, let's click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of Cloudmersive connectors below, let's select the Document Conversion Connector with the green logo. Once we do that, we'll jump to the Actions list. However, if you haven't used this connector before, you'll first encounter a connector login step asking for you to name your connection and include an API key. To use this for free, just register a free account on our website and copy your free tier API key into the appropriate field. After that, it'll save for your next use with no additional hassle. Once we reach the actions list, let's type change image DPI and select the correct option when it comes up. Within this connector action, we have a few fields we need to satisfy. In this case, let's start with the bottom two fields. The second field is asking for our image file, so we can parse in dynamic content from the trigger step. The third field is asking for a file name, so we can give our file a quick and easy name like image.jpg, and we're done. Finally, we can turn our attention to the first input, which asked us to specify the new DPI of our image. The input image I'm using has a DPI of 76 and sits at 3 megabytes, which is pretty small as it is, but I want to make this smaller while retaining some quality. To do that, I'm changing my DPI to 19, which is a number I've selected at random. To see how this works out, let's add in a quick create file step and configure our details. I'm speeding through this step for the sake of time, but the important thing is to finalize this step with dynamic output content from the DPI operation, which we can do through the dynamic content window. Once our flow is wrapped up, let's now save and test. After we confirm connections and click Run Flow, we just need to make sure everything ran smoothly before checking the folder we sent our new file to. As you can see, I now have a new file for my test, and when I open it up, I can see that the DPI is now exactly what I specified. When I compare images side by side, you can't really notice the drop-off in resolution, and that's partially because my file used this updated information to reduce its overall height and width as well. Although there's very little difference, we can see that the file size has now been cut in half. For reference, if I were to set a DPI of 1, the resulting image would become tiny in height, width, and overall file size while also displaying poor resolution. With our test complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please check out additional Power Automate connector demonstrations on our channel.